Hey guys, it's been a while since I did a uh, win video, and I wanted to show you guys what I did with my system. Uh, right now we're getting some pretty good wins, and uh, we got some pretty decent power. I got all four turbines tied into my system now. Um, here's the voltmeters down here, and they're all listed what they're doing. Uh, the HY1000 is on a 22 to 60 watt inverter, 1K. Same with the HY600. And the HY400 and the Windy Nation 750, um, they each have their own uh, little uh, 250 watt and 300 watt grid tied inverters. And what they do is uh, when they go to overvolt, uh, they simply both join up with this 1K inverter here. Okay, and I use blocking diodes there to keep the turbine separated so that the maximum power point tracking works uh, well on, on the low end for the little guys. So they don't really see each other's power until they join up with the uh, 1K inverter. And over here, this goes to my computer. This is a NV unit made by Current Cost. And it basically beams a signal off to my computer and grabs out all the power uh, that the turbines are making. And again, over here, this is the in-speed uh, wind meter. And it updates about every second. On the bottom right there, switch that over. Uh, it'll show you maximum wind speed, all right, which is 30.7 miles an hour. And again, down here are the voltmeters for each turbine. So it kind of tells me when the inverters are switching over and things like that. And I'm using a TED uh, 1001 model, and this is measuring all my AC watts only. I don't have anything on the DC side because I'm just basically grid tied. And everything comes over to here to a breaker box. And from a breaker box to a kilowatt meter and then back into my electrical panel. And what I did with the whole system is I had a PV powered inverter that got hit by lightning from one of my customers. And I took it all apart, took the guts out of it, and put all my inverters in here. So I thought that was a pretty cool move. All the DC part um, is wired in here. Okay, and the inverters are up top inside, and then all the AC stuff is down in here. And I have the disconnect I can use to shut it off and all that stuff. So, pretty cool system. It's working well. I'm real happy with the turbines. Um, so far, I've seen about 2,100 watts out of the system, which is pretty good. Uh, it does take a while for things to register because nothing's hardwired on the uh, data end of it. But I'm pretty happy with it. Um, things are working out pretty well. Uh, hopefully, I'll have uh, lots of days of wind like this, but even on the low end... Um, you know, using the four turbines, it's not too bad. I'm usually up about 100, 140 watts with all four, if all four are getting wind, around 10 miles an hour. So, because they're spread out, it depends on which turbine is getting how much wind. They're not all in one spot, so you got trees uh, blocking some of them and houses blocking the others. So, it's really hard to, to gauge how each one performs, but as a whole system... Uh, it does pretty well. I mean, 2,100 watts, and I think I got 2,700 watts worth of uh, wind power. So I'm not too far off my mark. I'm getting there. But again, the way these things register, it's really tough because if the gust doesn't stay up there, uh, then, you know, things won't register for the highest peak. Um, so, so far today, I made 1.5 kilowatt hours. And right here, these are brakes. These are the brake switches, all three of them here, and they're labeled. There's the HY400, the HY600, and the HY1000. I didn't do one for the Windy Nation one yet. Uh, I'm going to get ready and do that. And then put some of this hodgepodge back in the uh, back in another box. And there's my dump loads up there. So all in all, it turned out pretty good. Um, I don't need to use any really thick wire because I'm grid tied. Because uh, as the wind increases, so does the voltage and the amp amperage drops. So basically all this wire is just 10 wire. That's all I really need um, to do the system with. Because you figure 30 amps at 60 volts, that's 1800 watts, and none of these turbines will make 1800 watts. So that works out pretty well too. Now here's some low, uh, some low wind. You can see what I'm getting on the low wind side. I'm pretty happy overall. Um, you definitely need a couple turbines in the micro world to make any kind of meaningful power, at least in my house. I have a 3,000 square foot house and one little tiny turbine, whether it's a you know car PMA or a China PMA or American PMA, whatever you want to call it, it's really not going to do the job for us. 
and we can't put up a big uh, 2K or 5K turbine, so I had to do micro wind. Um, and, and saying that, you need a few turbines to get any kind of power. But as usual, the wind's all over the place. But to get the idea, making pretty good watts. Every once in a while, we'll get a good 30 mile an hour gust, and you know, I'll get all close to 2K. I don't know if you just heard that click, but that's an inverter that's clicking, letting it go to high volt. It takes a little bit for things to register. Here comes a big gust. Now again, this is with all four turbines. This is with uh, the Winmax 400, 600, and 1K, and then the Windy Nation 750 PMA. And I did uh, change blades on my Winmax 600 because three blades is not going to help me here. I need five to keep things going. You can hear the inverters clicking over. I put the larger blades on the HY400. I just did that a few weeks ago. I've had them for a while and I wanted to try to use them. They seem to be working out pretty good on the HY400. Got more surface area. I don't know if I'm getting the, the great RPMs I'm supposed to get out of it, you know, versus using like the stock blades. Uh, but the five, uh, the three blade large set from Windy Nation, the blades are pretty darn big, and it does that little turbine well. So I think I'm going to keep them on. I'm pretty happy. I mean, let's face it. Overall, as long as I see 21, 22, 2300 watts and less than 35 mile an hour winds, I think I've got it down. Efficiency factors uh, they play a role. So, if I'm off my mark by a few hundred watts, that's pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy, considering that they're just little tiny turbines. Try to get you a shot here. Yeah, we're getting over 1K. Winds are pretty good. It's nice to see that up in the, the almost low 20s. Yeah. In the low 20s there, I'm getting 1K out of them. I'm happy with that. Again, considering what they are, three are mounted to my house, one's mounted up above a tree. Not too shabby. I didn't go outside. We just had snow. And uh, you guys know what my turbine setup looks like outside. I just wanted to show you the control system and how well, uh, how pleased I am how it's working. And it's working really good. And again, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, the turbines come in three phase, they, the rectifiers are in this box too. And uh, they just go right to the grid tied inverters. And from the grid tied inverters, I have them hardwired. I cut the cords off and wired them up inside this disconnect here. And then wires go back just to uh, two two pole breakers. I actually have just one breaker running it right now. Instead of a 220 system, it's all 120. So they're all tied together on one dedicated line. And the solar also comes in here too. And that's for my end phase units. And they so everything's basically tied into here for 220 and goes back through this meter. And this little meter's spinning. If you can see it spinning. And it's supposed to spin forward because it's registering the kilowatt hours that I make, not backwards. And then that goes into my meter. So in all not too bad. Yeah, you can hear the inverters clicking. The little guys are going to overvolt and letting the rest of the power pass to the uh, big 1Ks. 
So I'm running high voltage at that point. You can see the meters down the bottom, what they're doing. The bottom meter, this one here, it only goes to 30 volts. i got to change that. That's for the HY, 1000. Okay, guys. Well, I just wanted to show a little bit of uh, what i got going on. and I can honestly say I'm pretty much done my wind system. There's nothing really uh, much more to do. I'm going to clean this little mess up here. <coughs> Excuse me. What I wanted to say before I leave is these tiny grid tight inverters. If you hook them up right and you use them in the right way, these things will do a great job for wind. I know they're not UL. Um, it's a tough sale as being in a contractor. I can't sell them to a uh, customer. You know, to wind stall. I have to go with a UL inverter. But, uh, you know, for guys who are doing it on the side or hobby or whatever, or trying to just... You know, get some battery power, lower our bill, whatever it may be. Uh, they work really well, man. You just have to know how to handle them. Um, if you can figure out, you know, how to work the dump loads and not load them down too much, uh, these things work great. This particular one here, I've had for two years. Not a problem with it. They're all doing exactly what they should be doing. And if you noticed, I'm not going overvolt on the big guys. Once the power dumps into them, I'm not, I'm not hitting over 60 volts. That's another good thing, so I'm not wasting any power. Once in a blue moon I do, uh, but 99% of the time, as long as the grid's on, um, I don't have any issues. If it's off, obviously everything just goes up to the dump load. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching. There's some good wind out there. I was hoping to hit 30 miles an hour and see, uh, show you over 2K, but I think you get the idea that I can definitely hit over 2K in 35 mile an hour winds. Um, but for the most part, I'm real happy with the low wind production, which is basically where I'm usually at all the time anyway. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Take care.